And off we go, a close game, now starting the second quarter. On the court for Miami here in the second, Chalmers and Wade with the one and the two. Hazen's out there with this pass, and it's LeBron with the three. Yeah, no, I only use that for the time. I only use my table and I'm running off that court. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the Sunday. Hi, Kevin. Well, Kevin, who just completely dominated that game. The Lakers just have no answer for his penetration. Yeah. He is just a, a maestro out there at the point that's so beautiful to watch. Yeah. They've done their part here to run down a lot of missed shots. A solid rebound there. Yeah, I was impressed. I and mean, they're fighting for every loose ball, putting a body on somebody and going after the ring. Blake Griffin is one of those players that come along ever so often. I mean, after yeah. that seeing him play for the Clippers, you wonder how it's going to work out, but he's special. That just shows you guys. I mean, he's always in aggressive mode. I mean, he will exploit any opening the defense gives him, and he's always probing, looking for opportunities to attack. The kick outside to Butler. Short gets whistled for a loose ball foul. That is his first foul of the game. The Heat trail by 10. Clark, their offense has been great here. Yeah, I love the way they've looked really strong and together. Yeah, and very aggressive, too. Keeping the defense all balanced with their ball movement. I like the way they look. Going back to what Clark just said, you know, Blake has said he's not going to worry about the pass for the Clippers. He's focused on the future. But Steve, do you think he'll be able to reach his goals in the Clipper blue and red? Well, it all depends on what the organization does around him. You know, they've drafted well in recent years. Uh, they've established some, some salary cap flexibility. So the, the table is set for the Clippers. But they've got to overcome a long history of failure. And uh, Blake Griffin's a pretty good place to start if you're trying to reverse your fortunes. Chalmers pitches for LeBron. Karan Butler covering. LeBron can't get it to go. Yeah. Couldn't convert. A nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. Paul passes to Griffin. That's it. Launches it. It's hard that time on that 
assist by Griffin. Six points. Come on. Uh, if you look at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trying to fight their way back. Yeah, I like the energy they're playing with there, Steve. I mean, a nice uptick in their second chance points. And keeping us updated for the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Hi, Kevin. Well, one of the big turning points for Miami of the Big Three was an early season loss to the Dallas Mavericks. Their record was 9-8 and eight at that point, and as it turned out, the Mavs would be their finals opponent. Wade set up a team meeting that followed that loss. At that meeting, letting us know to be friends and to be real with each other. If we see something wrong with our game, point it out. I think we all looked at each other and held each other accountable with our game. That was a significant moment in the Heat season. Thank you, Doris. That game served as a wake-up call for the Heat early on. You know, I remember that game. You could see the Heat were a different team after that loss last year. I think it helped them get to the finals. And I like that move to the hoop. He used his feet go around the bigger defender. Soft touch off the glass. LeBron's now it's got 10 points in the quarter. That's not a Ooh. defensive matchup that's going to work out too often. I mean, it's hard to give up that much time. Smart foul there. Make him earn those two free throws instead of giving up an easy dunk. Yeah, and he's not a strong free throw shooter. I mean, with his percentage, he's likely to miss one, so that's a good heads up play. Both free throws good from Griffin. Well, they're doing a nice job of drawing fouls here in the quarter and getting to the free throw line. You know, the drop might not keep moving, but constantly getting points from the foul line, that's a great way to maintain your lead. Back to Griffin. Oh. It's going by way. Shot is off. Yeah. And the first half is now in the books.